Welcome back everybody. I had a good video for you today. So yesterday Tom M0RMY and uh, Mike M0MSN, <laughs> they popped up. Uh, we had a little break if you know what I mean. We looked at this uh, DX Commander Evolution, this uh, 18 meter thing. And uh, actually it was at Tom's uh, insistence that we put on 40 and 20. Now, as you know, we get a lot of planes over here, so this is going to disturb my audio, and it <laughs> means I can't think properly. Come on, Mr. Plane, hurry up. So it was at Tom's insistence that we put 40 and 20, and we just got it working. I mean, the coax was there on the ground. Now, this is interesting because I cut a 10-metre wire for the 40-metre band and a 5-metre wire for the 20-metre band, knowing it would probably have to cut a bit off. The 40 meter element was 1.87, that's about six feet, too long. And we think the reason it's too long is because there's some coax here that goes up, up the pole. At a certain point in time, that is parallel to the 40 meter element. And if you think about it, at the very top, we've got effectively an inducted loaded top hat um, a small top hat, and uh, which is a, ca a capacity hat, if you like. So uh, that's the reason why we had to chop off uh, nearly two metres. This is quite amazing, actually, but I'm fairly convinced it's an inducted loaded uh, top hat. Mike thought what we should do is get a T-piece. Take our main, we'll take our main transmission line from the, the cabinet in the corner of the field here. Come to a T-piece. One end of the T-piece goes into the bottom end of the DX Commander here, and the other end of the T-piece just goes straight up the pole, all right, all the way. So when a 40 metre wiggly comes along, it will see the completely, the wrong impedance going up the pole, and it'll just want to come down the, which one's 40? This one. It'll just want to come into 40 metres. Here, when 20 metres comes along, it'll come into the 20 metre one. The problem is, is that 40 meters has got a harmonic on 15 so if we dogs are going mad yeah all right guys well hey they just get have a funny five minutes every now and again where's the ball leaf if 40 meters has got a harmonic at the 15 meter band 21 megahertz what will happen is when the 40 meet, when the 15 metre wigglies come in, it won't know whether to go up the three quarter wave or go up to the top. However, in testing, it turns out that the next harmonic for 40 metres, which is normally 15 metres, 21 megahertz, has gone right up. This time it's gone up to 26 megahertz. It's the next harmonic. So I'm clear. I can just fire in any old wiggly, 15, 12 and 10 is going to go straight up the pole, 40 and 20 is going to go here, or whatever we want to do down here. But it got me thinking, what happens if we created a dedicated three-quarter wave element? Bearing in mind we've got this capacitance top hat, we'll just keep tuning it until that three-quarter wave element, somewhere around seven, between six and eight metres long, Get, we get a dead tune, we get a real perfect tune on the 10 meter band. Then when the wigglies come in, it won't be sure whether it should go to the bottom or to the top. But the reality is, we're effectively, if we made that coax exactly the right size and we put in a 220 degree phasing line, in other words, we just cut the coax exactly the right size, we'll feed them both. And what happens is we're ending up with potentially up to 2 dB of extra gain. But let's interrupt the field stuff because that idea wouldn't work. In fact, I'd be losing gain by doing that. So I've come up with some other ideas. I've just been on the phone to Mike and he said, why don't you make... Oh, it's upside down. Why don't you... If you're not getting the gain you're after. For CQWPX at the end of March next year, why don't you run four of these Evos? We'll trim all the weight down. They'll all need fed with, I think, 75 ohm coax and some phasing harnesses. Four of these, all right? <laughs> that's it to scale. On the 18 metre mast, you need to get the weight off, that's all. 
Uh, and what would that do? Now, interestingly enough, it would do that. <laughs> Look at this at uh, five degrees, 6.5 dBi, and we were hitting 2.9. 3.9, 4.9, 5.9, 3.5 half dB extra. So that's, uh, I would be able to hear 3.5 dB extra as well. So if you want me to build that one, you're gonna have to let me know. We did add a little bit of extra, extra wire onto the 15 meter element, and that came down from 22 megahertz to 21 as planned, 21.2 or something. So I'm really comfortable with a 20, 40, and then up top, 15, 12, and 10. I, I think it results. I really do. Good fun. I mean, this isn't... I can't... Oh, the dog wants me to kick the ball again. It's over there by the chair. Junior is here by the chair. Here. Come. Come. Good. I mean, what have we learnt so far? We've learnt that um, a capacity top hat doesn't have to be physically connected. We've learnt that. We've learnt that a harmonic on a capacity loaded element... Well, screws around with it, to be honest. It went way up, 26 megahertz. So all in all, good fun. Not the sort of thing I can sell, all right? It's the sort of thing I might be able to inspire you with. And uh, in the meantime, yeah, watch the next videos coming up here. Uh, I will see you soon. Okay, bye for now. Go on then. Django, where's your ball? Leave, 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 good boy. Go on then.